In this screencast, I'll be showing you how to think more carefully about your layout, ensuring that your content is neatly positioned and easy to understand. I'll show you layout principles using my e-card design, so follow along and apply these principles to the e-card that you're designing for the course. First, let's look at the type hierarchy. When I originally made this template, I made things easy for you, as I had already set up your type in a basic hierarchical design with the headline, the subheading, and the call to action organized by order of importance using size, though you may have ended up changing this slightly as you added in your text in the previous lesson. But that's okay, I did it too, and I need to tidy things up as well. Also, I made the headline bold for you to make it more prominent on the page, and when you change your typeface in the previous lesson, your typeface should still be bold as well. However, you might want to adjust the size of your text slightly, especially if you need to make your text fit better in this space and you need to reinstate the type hierarchy. So to do this, uh, you just highlight it like any other word processing program and go up to the toolbar and you can change the size here or you can just enter in a uh, the size that you want. So for my e-card, I'm just going to spend some time resizing this text to make sure that it both fits in the space available and I bring my type hierarchy back. Okay, so I'll just move my headline up a little bit and move this logo placeholder up a little out of the way. Um, I think this is the size that I want for my uh, my headline, so I'll leave that like that for now. And then now onto the, the subheading. Okay. Now I think that because I've made these bigger, I'll leave this uh, the same size that it is. Okay, and I think that looks good. So um, hierarchy wise, uh, the, the heading is the, the most prominent on the page. And then the next prominent is the subheading. And then finally, um, the third prominent is the call to action. So the hierarchy starts here at the top and moves down. And uh, yeah, that looks good to me. So let's see what's next. You'll want to consider your organization's logo and the layout as well. So let's add this now. Click the image icon on the top bar in, in this program. So it's right here. This will allow you to select an image file from your computer and drop it into your design file. Or you can do what I'm doing. You could pull a, an image file or a logo file from Google Drive if you use Google Drive. And so I'm going to uh, work with a small media's logo here. And then I'll hit select. And it's dropped into my design file, although you can't really see it. So uh, I'll show you how I'll work with it in just a second. Once you've added your logo to your document, um, you'll just need to size it and position it where, where you'd prefer to have it on your, on your e-card. Uh, we've made a space for you up here where there's the logo placeholder and that's where I'm going to put my logo today but because it's in white I can't really see it so the way that I will work with it for the time being is by changing the background color of my e-card. So to do that I'm going to uh, press control on my computer and bring up this, uh, this little drop down menu, select background and then I'm just going to select the color gray. So this won't be my um, final color of the e-card e background, but it'll be fine to work with now. So I'm going to put this logo up in the top left, but first I'll just delete, delete this placeholder text by selecting the text box and hitting the delete key. Now I need to make this smaller, so what I'm going to do is uh, 
take one of these uh, corner handles of this image, press shift, and when I press shift, it, me, it, it makes sure that this image doesn't stretch, um, doesn't stretch out. Um, see, see, so, you know, you don't want it to, uh, you don't want to stretch the logo in a funny way. So let me just bring this back to normal. And that's why you use the shift key. Okay. So to prevent that from happening, you press shift and then drag the box to make it smaller, pull it out to make it larger. I'm making it smaller, of course. And I will just make this a little smaller now. And then just use my mouse and my arrow keys to fit it around the space where I, I'd like it. So I'll show you how to uh, refine the layout in a little bit. So if we look again at my hierarchy here, the logo is important, but uh, increasing awareness of the report is the objective of my brief. So all of this is still more prominent than the logo. Now let's look at the flow of information on your e-card. Again, I've made it easy for you. I've set up the template design so the flow of information goes from the top of the image and down, then over to the right towards the image placeholder. If you like this flow of information, you can leave the design as it is, but otherwise, feel free to change the positioning of these elements on the page if you'd prefer something different. For my e-card, I'm going to keep the flow of information as it stands, so from the top here, down, and then over to the image. So I'm happy with my content in this order, so I'll just leave it, leave it how it is. Now let's look at a few things to consider in regards to layout. While you've been resizing the text and adding your logo, the placement of the different text boxes and logo might not be neatly arranged anymore, but might look a little messy. Use guides in the Google Drawing application to neatly line your design elements against each other. So to do this, first you'll make sure that if you that in view, if you select view and then scroll down to snap to, you'll make sure that guides is checked. Doing this means that Google Drawing provides you with line guides to line your selected object with other objects on the page. So for example, if I move this over here and then I move it back to where it was, you'll see that a little red line appears and that, that vertical red line is showing me where the edge of all all these other text boxes below are. So it's just giving me some help to make sure that I can line everything up neatly. Because then my text box, it snaps to that guide. Or it also works horizontally. So if I move this up, I can align the bottom of this text box with the bottom of this placeholder box if I chose. But it's just a really easy way to uh, to align, align things in your, in your projects. Okay, so now that you know how to uh, work with these guides, uh, neatly position your three text elements against one of their edges. So you could align all of your text against the left, or you could align all your text against the right, and so on to tidy up your design. So you can either stick with the layout we've provided and just tidy up what we have here, or if you prefer, you could completely change the alignment of the logo and the text. So you could align everything to the right, like move, move everything over here and align um, all down this edge if you chose, for example. However, for my e-card, I'm going to use the guides to align my 
two headlines, make sure that these are all neatly aligned next to each other. And then I'm also going to carefully place the logo and then the text the same distance from the edge of the page on each side to ensure that the whole design looks tidy and neat. So what I'll do first is just make sure, and I'm just doing this by eye, but um, I'm just going to make sure that the space between, oh, the space between this text is the same as the space between uh, the bottom of the uh, subheading and then the top of the, uh, the call to action. So I'll just use my arrows, arrow keys to, to nudge this around and then just use um, my mouse as well. Okay, and I think that those are about the same size. So now I just want to make sure that this, everything is neatly lined up against this side here. So I'll just start here. And then make sure using these red guides that everything snaps together, snaps to that left line. Okay, and then this one I have to do by eye. Remember, Google Drawings is, it's very simple. It's a very basic program, but it's a good start if you're just starting out. So it doesn't have uh, too many things that you can do with it, but I think that's okay. Okay, so I think that uh, everything is lined up here. Now I want to make sure that the border around all of this is the same width. So this is actually really close to the top. So I'm just going to select everything and then just neatly bring it down a bit. Okay. So right now this and this space should be about the same. Actually, oh, I think I will fix it a little bit more. Okay, I'm there. So this is all neatly positioned in this space for me, and I'm happy with that. So everything's nice and tidy. And now let's go to the next lesson.